Fresh to new sunrise on CW18. In 2023, some of us may be looking for new careers, but how can we make the job seeking process easier? Joining me now to take us through all that is Jessica Wenzel, an associate director in the Rollins College Department of Career and Life Planning. Jessica, Hi. thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Uh, happy Friday. Good morning. Yes, happy <laughs> Friday. Always a good way to start the day, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about it. It's a new year. Uh, many people kind of think, okay, what can I do in my life to better my career, further my career, or maybe they want to do a change of direction. Mm -hmm, okay, absolutely. so what do you say? I say this is a great time. 2023 is definitely turning out to be a great time to either look for a new job okay. or just kind of reinvent yourself and, okay. and find a new opportunity. Do you think it's a, one of those times, especially though coming you know, out of the pandemic, it's been such a difficult time for so many. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are trying to make maybe just better financial decisions and maybe, you know, help bring home, you know, more income to the family. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're looking. Yeah, it could be that or it could be just a time to reflect and mm -hmm. kind of decide which way they want to approach the job search. So, you know, there's a lot of different ways that you can do that. And so we can talk about the different tools or just different ways to to yeah, get out there. Absolutely. So take us through that. What should people yeah. be doing? What are the tools that they should be, you know, using to get, you know, the best foot, their be put their best foot forward? Yeah. So one thing, 2020 pandemic has shown us is that um, it is a new world in the job search. Okay. So tools like LinkedIn are powerhouse mm -hmm. when it comes to both the job search from the candidate standpoint as well as the recruiter uh, looking and sourcing for for their jobs. Okay, so, so make sure you have a LinkedIn account. Yes, okay. yes, have a, a professional LinkedIn account um, complete. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of tools within LinkedIn that can be utilized as a job seeker as well as when recruiters are looking for candidates, mm -hmm. um, looking at the different skills that they possess, uh, specifically if you're looking to reinvent yourself. So mm -hmm. maybe you found yourself in a position whether it was um, changing industries or like you said, just doing something different. Mm -hmm. um, using LinkedIn to your advantage um, is a huge tool. Okay, and so what are the industries that you're seeing right now at the start of 2023 that are hiring or that are yeah. really looking? Yeah, so in Central Florida, we have, of course have the mecca of hospitality and leisure. Mm -hmm. So not only theme pa parks, but you're looking at restaurants, you're looking at um, hotels, things like that. So you're looking at a lot of jobs in there. Healthcare mm -hmm. is also booming. So Advent Health, Orlando mm -hmm. Health, but not only that, smaller clinics and just different um, healthcare providers are booming. We've seen that um, come out coming out of the pandemic and I believe that's going to continue as well as some professional services so um, HR services payroll finance mm -hmm. accounting mm -hmm. um, those uh, companies that uh, focus on those uh, that do a lot of companies kind of outsource okay. those roles um, so the companies that uh, participate in that are booming as well. Okay, so what would you say that if someone is seeking a job, obviously the LinkedIn, but mm -hmm. how has this changed so much for folks, let's say 20 years ago? So yeah. if you, like you said, if you're reinventing, then there's a lot of things that you need to kind of, you know, get caught up with. Yeah, so the paper resume, the yeah. old traditional um, going into somewhere and handing in your resume, that's not probably a thing anymore. Mm -hmm. So utilizing the tools, not only LinkedIn, but there's a lot of other mobile um, mm -hmm. tools, Indeed, um, Career Builder, where you can upload your resume, mm -hmm. um, but also kind of thinking about how that job, how you can relate those skills that you have into the job that you want or are looking for. So really keeping it clean, keeping it concise, so, um, getting to the nitty gritty, if so you will. So Jessica, yeah, if you do go into a meeting then with someone and you're in, a, in the interview process, do you mm -hmm. no longer hand them a, a resume? That that doesn't happen anymore. Well, usually they're virtual, so that okay. first um, okay. meeting is typically going to be through a virtual. So it's either going to be through Zoom, through WebEx, um, and you're typically going to meet with more than one person. So that first person that you speak to, whether it is um, through that message or through that virtual um, meeting, mm -hmm. is a screener or a junior recruiter. Right. So okay. they're trying to get the feel. So that's probably going to be the first step. Um, but of course, your resume does get you in front of that person. So the resume. Um, is important. It's just digital as opposed to a, a you know traditional piece of Interesting. paper. Interesting. You can tell it's been a long time since I've gone <laughs> on an interview. Do people still do thank you notes after you meet with? Is oh. that still you know a handwritten or is that gone out you know the window too? I think that's a lost art, but it right. definitely goes a long way. Mm -hmm. So when you are uh, interviewing for a job, definitely a thank you note, whether that is um, in writing or mm -hmm. in, you know through that paper or digital. So if the only communication you've had with that recruiter has been through LinkedIn. It's okay to send a thank you through LinkedIn. Um, it really does highlight a little bit more about you. It mm -hmm. takes the time to show the recruiter that you're really enthusiastic, that you care about uh, 
getting the job and just being part of the organization um, is really important for the recruiter as they're trying to screen through maybe hundreds mm -hmm. of candidates yeah, just for a way to one stand or out. two roles. Okay, excellent. Well, Jessica, thank you so much for joining us yeah, this morning. We appreciate it. Great advice.